Is there demand for script consultants related to specific illnesses like schizophrenia? I get this question a lot of people hoping to consult in Hollywood in their area of expertise. Uh, now, I work in comedy where I think consultants are much less common. I think in a drama, it's probably more common because if you have a show that takes place in an emergency room, you certainly want to have someone on staff who knows how an emergency room actually operates. So, so it looks right. Uh, in comedy, you get a little more room for dramatic license. Now, first, you have to ask yourself this question. Are there any shows on the air where there's a character dealing with schizophrenia? If the answer is no, then there's no demand. If there's one or two shows, there's still no demand. There's not a lot of demand for that. Uh, and chances are, if that show is on the air, the person who wrote it knows a lot about that subject matter. Maybe they have someone in their family who's dealing with schizophrenia or maybe, uh, and if they don't have the answer to something, it's not too hard to call a doctor or ask someone close to them that knows something about schizophrenia so you can get a, an accurate answer. If not, maybe they hire someone full time. But again, then that job is already filled. There's no demand because someone already has that job. Uh, now, in my long career, I've only worked on one show where we had a full time consultant. And again, I work in comedy, and that's the one I'm currently on now, Tacoma FD, which takes place in a fire department. And that's only because the showrunners really wanted to have that sense of authenticity. So one of the showrunners is related to a career firefighter, so Cousin Bill. So Cousin Bill is our consultant. He sits in with the writers. Uh, so, you know, we get a sense of how it really works in a fire department. He's also on set to make sure the actors know how to properly roll a fire hose, how to hold a piece of equipment so it looks right. Uh... Sometimes I'll watch a show that takes place about in Hollywood or a movie about Hollywood. And I'm like, that's not how it works. And certainly the person who wrote that episode knows how Hollywood works because they work in Hollywood. So why are they not depicting it 100% accurately? Because it's not dramatic. In real life, the reality is boring. So they take dramatic license. They bend the rules a little to make it more interesting. You know, it's not a documentary. So is there demand for consultants? Not really. You know, it's, it's whoever's writing the show, they, they already have someone. It's easy enough to find someone. Sorry to break your heart, but uh, you're going to have to pick another dream. For more on what it's like to be a television writer in Hollywood, keep following me here at Michael Jammin Writer.